and welcome back to another insane adventure in the Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. Alright, let's get away from that triumphant music right there because holy shit is it overwhelming every time you turn on the game. Especially when I turn the volume down in-game, I feel like it should make a slight effect on uh, whether or not the title menu game or title menu music's gonna be loud or not, but apparently that's not the case. <laughs> okay, it's a weird way to start this off. So, where was I in here? I was getting murdered. Uh, I am for anybody who's joining in for the first time. Uh, I'm Brandon, playing uh, some Oblivion, and I have made a uh, witch killer, I think. Witch hunter, there we go. I made a witch hunter, and I am sucking hardcore. Um, I got the difficulty up barely. Just a little bit over normal, and it's super fucking hard. Now I've just been kind of uh, exploring around and revisiting this game, because I haven't played this in a really long time. At least five, six, seven, eight years, something around there. I figured I would delve back into uh, Cyrodiil for a little while and see what's going on and get out of Skyrim for a minute. Because I was uh, getting kind of burnt out on Skyrim, to be honest. Don't have the same vibe as uh, Oblivion had. And I feel like the um, outside of just the vibe in this game, like the music is, I think, the best in the series. And it's basically, I can put Oblivion music in like Morrowind and it fits like wonderfully and vice versa. But if I throw Oblivion music into Skyrim, I feel like it's a little different. Like, it's something, something different. I don't know if they had the same guy do the uh, do music do? for it, but it's very possible that they did. And maybe he just took a different route with it. I mean, it is a different country in the game, so, you know, trying to keep your music, maybe... Maybe this is, like, native uh, serial music that people listen to or something that we're hearing as our soundtrack for um, Oblivion. And the Skyrim soundtrack is maybe, uh, like tunes that you would hear if you were living in that uh, part of the world, in that, you know, fantasy world. My nose is stuffed up. I for, uh, or, uh, forgive me, as, uh, I have no control over my nostrils. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I don't think I've completed really any quests that were of significant importance, and I have still yet to get a level. I don't even think I'm close to leveling, to be honest, to see. Apparently I have a bounty, and I'm gonna go to jail again, and I didn't know I got that, but... Okay. Um... I'm very... Actually, I am pretty close to progressing to my next level, or progressing, so... I'm gonna shoot some fireballs. See if maybe we can, uh... If, oops, what is it, five? Yeah, see if we can actually, uh... Up my level, maybe. By upping my destruction. I joined YouTube to watch a guy shoot fireballs into the air in an old game that no one cares about anymore. Says the person watching the video. Alright, so that didn't really do anything to help me out, but it did something. But I don't think that's going to be what is going to get me my level. I think I need maybe two more points. If it would show me, which I don't think it's going to show me, but I think I need two two more uh, skill point level up. So I should probably get some... Keep doing this fucking... Cast some spells. I just want a level. Name Potion. What the fuck is that? I drink it. I don't know if I should have. Name Potion. Oh my god, those are my fireballs from earlier. So, apparently I have mana. Something that I... Maybe that name potion that I drank is, uh... Yeah, it was fully refilling my fucking...
that was a weird... I didn't... I, so that potion apparently was filling my magic up pretty quick. Man, I feel like my... I might be wrong. It might be the sound that you always get for the uh, fireballs, but I feel like that was not even the right sound aligned with the fireball. Like, I feel like it was a different... something different. I don't... Maybe I was wrong. I guess I'll find out when I get some more uh, magic built up. Before I start running off into a random direction because I'm talking, I should get my bearings and figure out where I plan on going. Now, Kavach is my main objective right now. Fort Strand, I got some ladies that are just showing the gentlemen a bad time. You know, they're, they're robbing, they're burglaring, thieving, conniving, doing all that kind of crap. So, uh, I don't know if I want to go in there yet until I level, though. Because these are very hard-hitting women. Alright, so... I'm suspended from the Mage Guild. Because I stole a lot of stuff. Uh, this is the one that has the ladies beaten on the fellas. Ninroot. Main quest... I don't want to do the Nibbin Bay quest yet until I get at least, like, at least a couple levels up, I guess. Um, I mean, if I really want to, I guess I could, uh, travel around and do the Way Shrines. But maybe I should sell some stuff first. Um, I'm also making a, uh, uh, an effort, and I've already not been successful in doing this, but I'm making an effort to use fast travel as little as possible. Why? I don't know, but I kind of enjoyed, uh, I enjoy the scenery in this game, to be honest, a lot. And, uh, when I played a long time ago, I, I used to have a bunch of mods on it that uh, I put on there for realism and stuff, and I remember one of the mods would give me a ring that would allow me to, would basically be like my ring of fast travel, so if you unequip the ring, you won't have the ability to fast travel anymore, because it's built into the ring instead of into your uh, game itself, you know, or whatever. So I would take my uh, fast travel ring, and I'd like swim out in the ocean, or in the water, and just drop it somewhere and spin around a little bit and swim off, and then I had to run around, run around everywhere, and I became, uh... I enjoyed the runs, to be honest. So, I don't really have too much complaining. Some of you guys might want to fast-forward through it, but... I mean, I get a lot of... crazy, juicy, quality content in those random runs on the road where I get killed. So, I mean, it's up to you. boop a doop a doo all right, we are leaving Skingrad, or however you say it, Skingrad. I don't know what how you call it, so or know what you call it or how you pronounce it. That's what I was trying to say. Why do I go five feet down the road and I always end up just getting blasted by forty-five motherfucking people, dude? My god. I'm already getting attacked, dude. I've been playing for five minutes. Now you're, gonna, now you're gonna attack my fucking horse, dude? Really? Right, beat his ass, Aponia. That's right. You gotta step on his dead corpse. Yeah, look at that. She's like kicking his dead body. That is fucking right. Now, I don't know if that was just my horse doing some weird like, coded fucking script, or if that was, like, my horse legitimately, basically spitting on his fucking nasty-ass grave. Bro. Might as well take that. Try to get a little bit of extra money. So we need to go to the, uh... Damn, I don't even know where I want to go yet. I'm far away from the Imperial City. And I'm in this region right now. Ah, damn it, I don't want to go back into skin ground. I'm not feeling skin ground right now. You know what? Fuck it. I need to get I need to sell this shit.
So occasionally you're gonna hear my coffee mug tapping down, and uh, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I, uh, at least one specific mild detail uh, about me that is in no way revealing, but I very much appreciate coffee. I probably drink more coffee than I drink anything else, and I drink it black. I normally don't put creamer or anything like that. I'm not a big fan of like, liquid creamers and stuff that kind of gross me out. And it's not the flavor of the liquid creamer, it's the feeling that I feel after the liquid creamer. So I, I usually avoid liquid creamers, and on occasion I'll use like a powdered, like just a regular basic dairy creamer, or non-dairy creamer, or whatever. If I'm like, if I'm not like feeling I might have heartburn or something like that. But generally speaking, I drink black coffee. And I, and I drink some badass coffee. I get uh, Greetings, coffee Dunmer. beans. I spend an extra couple bucks on the uh, coffee that I get because I, Hello. as Quentin Tarantino so elegantly put in the uh, Greetings, cult classic Dunmer. movie Pulp Fiction, I like to taste my coffee when I drink it. Welcome to the West Weald Inn. Got any coffee? I'm Irina Giranis, the proprietor. You were a bitch to me the last time I talked to you, so I will room. bypass all this crap. And it's a Oh, I still have the room. Never Easy. mind, good lady. Anyways, yeah, I, uh, I, you know, I get, I get my own coffee beans and stuff. May um, the wind be on your back. Yeah, man, uh, what a step up, dude, or lady. Uh, the last time I, before I was drinking like just basic, I, you know, I don't want to say the most basic. I, I was a big fan of chock full of nuts. Um, super tasty coffee. If you haven't ever had it, I'd get some. Try it out tomorrow if you like. If you just get like, you aren't trying to delve too deep into it, but you want a good tasting coffee. It's very, very tasty. But I've been getting, like, a lot of, like, foreign coffees. Um, like, I just recently had, like, a Kenyan coffee, and it was amazing. And uh, I'm kind of delving into, like, African coffees right now. I've tried a couple blends, and they are really... I don't want to say they're... Um, like, if you don't drink black coffee, it's kind of hard. It might be hard to tell, because most people are sitting there pouring, like, fucking Skittle glue into their coffee. I'm going to turn down the volume a teeny bit. There we go. But, uh, yeah, it's just, like, coffee's super sweet, so you don't really taste that bean flavor, and my girlfriend will go about it, and she'll she'll put a little bit of extra black coffee into her drink if she orders, like, a sweet one, just so she could get a little bit more of the actual coffee flavor and kind of, like, null out the, the sweet, because it, like, a McDonald's coffee or something, like, they're weird, they're frappuccinos and shit are just, like, the sweetest, most disgusting thing I've ever eaten in my entire, or drank in my life. But, yeah, I stick towards, like, black yes. coffee. Shut up, Clark, dear. We can't oh, talk God. here. Too public. Me? Oh, man, you're such a weirdo. Go, get away from me. Anyways. He drinks too much coffee. How goes it? Um. Is this a bread place? Baker's place? It's gotta be a fucking... It's a basic shop. Anyways, the point I've been trying to get across. Uh, bean coffee tastes so much better than ground coffee. My god. It is a literal different world. And it just... It's so much better tasting, and it's like, if you're a person who enjoys coffee, and even if you don't drink that much coffee, but you drink enough to where maybe you drink a cup a day, spend the extra, like, four bucks and buy, like, some good coffee. I mean, you, it's not everybody wants to sit there, you know, when you get a uh, coffee with, like, beans, you have to grind it and all that kind of stuff, so, you know, if you're not wanting to get a grinder, then don't get a grinder or whatever. Just get that version of that coffee in ground form if you have to, but I will say that the beans do hold a way better flavor, and it's just, I don't know. I've stepped into a totally new realm of coffee in the last, like, two years, and I don't think I could ever go back to buying cheap stuff. I've had, like, backup coffee in my my coffee cabinet for shit, man. I've had the two same containers in there for, like, seven months, and I don't think I've cracked them open at all. And, like, I don't plan on cracking them open. Like, they're there literally just in case I'm absolutely out of coffee and I need to make one pot because I'm not gonna get a chance to drink any coffee during the day until I get home later on or something. So, that's basically the situation I say before, but I'm usually stocked up on bean. But, yeah, that's my rant. Or, my, not my rant, but my, uh, my thing about coffee. Buy good coffee and enjoy good coffee what? because you yes. live one time and why drink cheap ass coffee? If you drink gallons of coffee every day, cheap coffee might be the thing for you. But you could still get away with buying chuck full of nuts for I think one or two dollars more. In most people's lives, I don't think two dollars is going to break the bank. So, it might be a 
might be a worthy investment if you're trying to at least just have some better quality coffee. And to be honest, too. Pay up or else. What do I owe? Did, when, did I borrow money from you? Take it from me if you Easily can. Done. Ezoch, I will shoot arrows into your anus. Oh wait, you're gonna you're gonna fight me by the Imperial Guard? Come on, guard. Help me out. There we go. Come on, you idiot. Even though this guard's literally gonna probably arrest me for accidentally defending myself and shooting him with an arrow or something. What is this guy not gonna do? Nothing. I'll just avoid talking to him. 15. No, I don't want that. I knew that I was going to do that. Oh my god, I completely lost track of thought. But yeah, good coffee is worth it. Spend the extra couple bucks. Do yourself a favor. And, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. If you're, uh, I, and this could be totally my opinion. I have no idea if there's any science backing this up at all. I've never looked it up. And I probably never will look it up because it's not really a big deal to me. But I feel that if you're getting uh, the cheap, like, cheap, like, generic brand, like, Kroger or Walmart brand, or whatever it's called, and you're getting these cheap coffee brands, you're getting, like, the bottom-of-the-barrel coffee. It could be old, and maybe even if it's not old, it's just really low-quality coffee material, and maybe it was grown in, like, crappy soil, wherever the hell it was. Whatever it is, I feel like the, the, um, the wake upness that caffeine provides you that boost i feel like when i drink cheap coffee i get a more jittery version of that boost and when i drink regular or like good coffee that i actually paid a little bit of money for i end up getting a i get that boost quicker and i also don't get the jitters and i and i'm pretty pretty uh like consistent on how, how much coffee i drink every morning so it might be something to consider or look up and maybe if you find out the answer you can tell me in the comments below because that's actually pretty curious, and I'll, I'll leave myself from not looking it up to maybe in the future and uh, persuade someone out of my uh, three and a half people that looked at these videos might actually like give me a suggestion or an idea of what that is. So now I'm going to run and hopefully not die, like I often do, because I have zero potions, and this motherfucking wolf's going to chase me and kill me again. God! Christ, he's gonna fucking kill me again. I know it, dude. My God. Maybe if I just hit it every once in a while when it gets close. Oh my God. Dude, just give up. Help! I'm a hero and I need help from common citizens. Damn you. Alright, that was, that was very 12-year-old of me. Alright, where's my horse? Like, I had a horse the last time I was in this town, and somehow I lost my horse. And now I'm just running on feet, and apparently... Yeah, I don't know why I have a torch out either. Oh, there she is. Good old Laponia. That's definitely a uh, series that I'd like to get into. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, series, too. I would actually, I would definitely love to stream that. Uh, some old Zelda games and, like, Super Nintendo games. Would love to do that. In fact, I think I'm just gonna do that anyways. Like, um, I'm trying to think of, uh, what Super Nintendo game I would want to do. I like, I love RPGs. It's, like, my favorite style of game to play. So, I'm definitely going to be digging into that uh, category. And there's definitely a lot of RPGs that I did start out on Super Nintendo that I never finished. Which seems to be a common trend in my life. But um, I definitely played deep enough into them to where I was like, oh, I want to play that again. Um, I think, uh, like, I never beat Link to the Past, which I'm very ashamed to admit, but I've never beat it. I did beat Ocarina of Time. Um, I played Final Fantasy... 2 and 4, which I'm pretty sure are the same game, and then I played uh, 3 or 6, which are pretty much the same game. I'm pretty sure they are identical games, just like, just different numbers because of the when they were released in the countries. And, um, let's see what else. Uh, I think 
think it's Secret of Mana 2. Or th maybe Secret of Mana 3. That was a good one from when I was when I played as much as I played into it. Um, and a lot of these games I got like maybe f I'd say like five to eight hours into. Oh Jesus God, dude! I'm out of here. Leave, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. But yeah, I, I think I might do some Super Nintendo games in there. Um, definitely played a lot of um, Super Mario uh, Brothers, Super Mario uh, World is what it's called. There you go. Oh my god, can I get on the fucking bridge? That was a very fun game. Uh, what else? When I was a kid, I really liked, like, the Battletoads games, but as I've grown older, like, I've just kind of... I get burnt out on them real quick, and I don't know about that one, but I definitely think I might find myself, like, a really good Nintendo 64 emulator and delve back into, like, Ocarina of Time. I'd like to beat Majora's Mask at some point. Because that, that was a pretty good game. I just wasn't as into it or as, like, gung-ho about it as I was with Ocarina. Let's see where I'm going here. Um... Heading goddamn towards me. Come on, shit. I don't want to go there. Man, you know what? I'm, just, I'm using a quick travel. I'll give myself, like, a daily limit on how many I'm allowed to use. That that seems fair for now. Um, because I want to sell some shit, and I'm just going to go to the, the market. There we go. Um. What was I just saying? Holy smokes. But yeah, I played those games a lot. Those were fun. I, I, I know that's over, like, just me playing emulators in general for years. Um, yeah, just not really back into those old, uh, I don't like, like Metroid-style games anymore. And not to say that I don't like Metroid, like, I would play it, but I would have, like, two videos on it, and I would probably never touch it again. There's been a lot of, like, more modern computer games that I like, Go but ahead, since I don't have please. a precision computer, Only I can play basically what my computer will play. What can I interest you in? I don't know, but you have a loud-ass voice, lady. I'm gonna turn your volume down. No, but, uh, my computer's not the best. It's a, it's decent. It's not bad, but compared to everybody else on YouTube, I feel like I've got a pretty freaking mediocre computer, but it's good enough for, for, you know, the videos I'm making, I think. But, um, eventually I'd like to upgrade that so I can get some very modern games on there, because there are some games that I want to play intensely bad. But until then, I'm just going to stick with what I got. Silver Carafe. Gown. I, you know what? We're going to haggle this time because I have forgotten it every time. I can't afford to do that. I think you can. I can't afford... Come on. You know you're going to sell it to me if I ask you enough. No, no. I Come on. No. I can't do... Really watch. It's going to be $3 still. But I'll do it for 3 again. You need to make a better offer. What? You got a great so deal So she wouldn't there. take it for three, but she would take it for three. I see your logic. Um, one of my favorite game series that I just, uh, in the last, like, year I got into that I'm actually gonna, customer. very much going to make a, uh, Let's Play series on is Pillars of Eternity. Um, I got really far. I, I was I started the game out because I'm 33. I don't I don't have all day to sit there and play video games, unless you guys want to help me out doing that. But that's gonna be a while before I can get there. But eventually, that'd be cool. But uh, I don't have that all that time to play video games. I got kids. So I got a job, and I got a girlfriend. I got other things that I got to do during the day. You know, life, and um. You got a great deal there. I don't even know where I was going with this. Oh, yeah, Pillars of Eternity. So, yeah, I, I started out playing in uh, just story mode, and then I'm like, this is way too freaking easy, which was, like, to me, I'm like, it's not satisfying to me if I don't have at least a little challenge, because it's like, I'm just re I might as well read a book. So, uh, I, I upped the you difficulty to, like, standard, there. and then I was like, man, you know what? Fuck this shit. Thank you so, for I, your I uh, kept the character, but I, I made a whole new character. Uh, I believe it was a different class at the time, and I made a, a Path of the Damned Take character. Care. And the only thing that I didn't do was do the one life, and then you die, and you know, you completely have to start over. And I'm so good on doing that because I, 
as much more time as it takes for me to play Path of the Damned in Pillars, uh, I don't have that kind of time to like do that multiple times. So what I would like to do in the future is uh, make a Path of the Damned uh, Pillars playthrough, start to finish, because I did get, I think, very much, like, almost to the very end of the game in Path of the Damned, it took me a very long time, but I loved every second of it, and uh, if you guys think that would be uh, something that you guys might want to watch, let me know, because I definitely would be interested in making that, and you know what, even if you guys don't want to watch me do that, I'm just going to do it anyways. by blocking. See, I didn't know that. I, I, I don't even read a lot of those. And they're full of, just chock full of delicious information. So did I sell all the crap I did or did I just talk? I got my steel bow, which I think I have equipped. Steel arrow, iron arrow, short sword, get rid of all the garbage except for these, which I'll just drop over the bridge. There, peace out. Oh, that may be on the, oh, there we go. Rusty Iron Shield. Sounds like a sweet thing. I could definitely sell this necklace, though. But yeah, Pillars of, e Pillars of Eternity is insane. Like, the story in that game is just amazing. Um, I, I have Pillars of Eternity, too, as well, but I don't want to even start that. I started it recent, like just for a little bit, and then I, I ended up just deleting my character because I really... I'm like, I'm very into that game series, and I don't want to really spoil any of the story for myself until I actually beat it. And once I beat it, I can import my character and do that, and uh, that's pretty much my goal, so. Let's go to the copious coin purse. This dude, like, definitely jacks other people over and lowers his prices, so I... Maybe... Maybe I can jack him over and get a little bit more for what I'm selling. What kind of deal can I make for you today? One that leaves me with plentiful amounts of money. May I interest you, weird, you in some short, fat-faced man. No, I don't want a blacksmith's apron. I would just like to sell my bronze amulet. For one spec higher, boop. An excellent. I know. That's fucking right, bro. You've made a good bit of gold. Wow, nine dollars. Uh let's let's see what we can do with this. Let's go to one seventy. Or what is that? 168% of value. Let's see if he'll buy it then. Ooh. Let's go up higher. Boom. Ooh. Let's go a little higher. Oh, yeah. You drive a hard bargain. I do. I'm a, my bargaining skills involve raising the level on a bar. Damn, I've got I got that bargaining skills, man. I'm almost at half the. P God damn! You're trying to drive me out of business. I am. No, I can't. I need you to buy the stuff I steal out of other businesses. No deal. Come on, man. You know that. I know can't that afford. Ah, yes, you can. There we go. I don't need any. You drive a. Yeah, get me. Yeah, I just buy them, man. Give me that money. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's this is how they break the game, is by getting a good alchemy score and selling potions all day. I'll keep that one. I am a magic user. Get rid of these You've poisons. You've made a... I know, I made a couple bucks. Okay, I get it. You don't need to tell me and... sit here and try to... cuddle me and... restore my faith, An you know? Excellent bargain. Yeah, I get it, bro. Um, I don't think I need these right now, and I'm pretty sure I get to steal that, millions of these later, so... We'll that that seems a fair price. Blip. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I might want to read that. Keep those, because they got things, recipes on them. You got a I don't care about these right now. Sell these bitches. That seems a fair price. New Doomstones, what is that? I'm going to have to check that Tell out. Your I will. I'll tell all my friends about you. Hey guys, this guy, come again. Um, what's his name? Thorinir. He sells for banging ass prices, and he buys your shit for fucking, like, gives you almost, I don't want to say top dollar, but he gives you some money back. So definitely go to him to shop. New Doomstones. Quill weave plans, new Doomstone cycle. Doomstones not magical, says noted Argonian writer. And I will not read all this, but I'll, uh, 
let you pause it and you can read it. If you're really that into it. But I've not done this with any other book, so why start now, you might ask, and I don't know. Uh, Nern Missive. Glowing, glowing Nern Root. Man, you guys got so much writing in here. Now, on a normal day, though, if I'm playing and I'm not on YouTube, uh, I would sit and read a decent amount of those. My, my goal for playing a game, always... And I think that's why I like RPGs the most, is to immerse. Like, I really look for as much immersion as I can. And I was saying, I definitely uh, went through here and bought, or not bought, but downloaded a bunch of um, mods that, like, increase the realism where you had to sleep, and you had to eat. You actually had to eat or you'd die from starvation. You had to drink water and make camps and stuff, and it was cool. I, I had even the daytime, like, the time... Uh, separate like I, t I changed the timing so it was like uh, the days were longer and stuff which i don't know if that affected like how people did stuff in the game but i thought it was kind of cool and I, I played like that for a long time like a rehaul or an overhaul on all the uh the uh combat systems and stuff and it was just cool but i don't really want to sit there and delve that much into it right now because I, I was just on that all the time when i was playing it and i don't think i'm gonna ever get that deep into this again but who knows Oops. But, uh, until then, I will sit here and just steal repair hammers out of boxes and make my money that way. How do you make your wealth, good sir? Well, I walk around town and I take repair hammers out of boxes and crates that are left around haplessly. There we go. Give me lots of grain. Oh, I'll take all them corns. Yeah, like, I'll do it even to the point where, like, if I was, like, a, uh... Like, if I felt like my character would keep detailed magical notes or stuff like that, and I would find, like, parchment and stuff like that and a quill, I would actually put that in my inventory and I would keep it in there. Even if I never used it, only as, like, when I'm in there, like, I can be my guy, you know? And that might be super nerdy or whatever, but... Psh, I like it. That's, like, my favorite thing to do in a game is to just... Really, like, get out of real life for a little bit. And, uh, I don't know, go somewhere else, you know? And I'm sure that's a lot of reasons why people play games, you know? If you got a cool reason why you play games, or if you think you have a different reason, also, feel free to leave that in the comments. I'm kind of curious as to see other people's reasoning, and, and I, I, I watch other people play games sometimes, and I feel like some people are way more into it than I am. But then I sit back and I, I watch myself uh, definitely drop some hours into gaming, so to each their own playstyle, I suppose. Grab all the good stuff out of these boxes or crates or whatever. Can never use enough torches. See, why can't I just steal all this shit? Like, this is for anybody to steal. But if I go next to a building, it's like I'm stealing from that building. Not always, but it definitely puts me as a category of a criminal sometimes. Which I have a bounty right now, and I don't know why I'm not getting chased by police. Or the guards, I mean. Yeah, they're the fucking cops, whatever. Alright, so I think I've got enough, um... Good as new. I think I've got enough stuff to sell right now to where I might make a couple bucks. Or a couple more dollars and maybe be able to buy a better bow. Or a, uh, better sword or some armor or something. Because I need some, some type of edge to Feel free to board. browse, friend. No pun it's intended. Nice to see a new shopper. I think... Yeah, no, I just bought his shit. Start from the beginning. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back. To keep a nice, fair, economic balance in town. Oh. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. Okay. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. 
It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. Wow. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. Okay, I'll do it. You I hope you're more... All right, I'll, I'll do it. That sounds like a quest Thanks I can get my hands and sink my teeth into. I'm pretty sure I don't have to, like, fight anybody crazy that'll just immediately slay me. So let's go to Thorn Ears and maybe stake it out and see what kind of shit he's got in there. What kind of deal can I make for you today? I'm gonna what can you I interest you in? By selling you more stuff. Maybe. That's more than tell your friends. I understand, old. By all accounts, he preaches that the attack on Anvil Chapel is an omen of some kind of coming doom. You should go to Anvil and hear him for yourself, if you're interested. They say he preaches... Yeah, I heard him. What about my inventory? Well, thank you. It's not only a fine assortment of goods, but a bit of a treasure trove. You never know what I'll have in stock. I can see by the look on your face. You wonder where I get all these fantastic items. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else who asks. It's all about who you know. My sources are good, but they are secret. Anyway, have fun looking around, and when you are ready to... Interesting. Let's see what the quest Goodbye. book has to say. And I'll figure out by opening up my handy-dandy quest book. Uh, wrong quests. I didn't reveal any information. Since he's obviously hiding something, I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does after his shop closes. I like that. <clears throat> Man. I also like picking the lock. There, let's see what he's got in this bitch. Maybe I can get in here real quick and find some notes and maybe not get caught. But I will definitely steal all of his food. Why? I don't know. I have a weird thing with stealing food. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hear me opening these very squeaky doors in this house? There's gotta be something in here. Nothing up there. Take, take, uh, take, take, take. Real Varenza, no. A weird situation right there. Manual of arms. I uh, figured that would have raised a skill or something. Guess not. Anything in here? Nothing in here. Well, this guy's literally got nothing. No journal or nothing in here. Folded cloth. There's gotta be a clue. Where do you get your things, Thor in here? Or oh, whatever it is your name is. Nope, you got nothing. I'm out this bitch. Thanks for the stuff. Actually, you know what? Fuck you, bro. Where's he at? Welcome back. You're welcome. Let me sell your stuff back Only to you. quality goods for sale here. You fool. What can I interest you in? You fool. Alright. Oh, so I can't sell the scrolls back to him because I don't think he accepts scrolls, maybe. Goodbye. I can't remember if this... If uh, people only buy kind of the stuff that they sell, or in this game, or if they, if Hiding it's, citizens. If it's different. Yeah, I'm a good guy. Don't please don't question me. I don't want to lose everything I've stolen yet. Uh, hello. Ooh, I'll make some discount spells real quick. I think crazy priced. 
Edgar Vautrin, you don't want the very best. You want cheap, and I got cheap. You're a very weird old man. What can I interest you in? But I like you. Hmm. I have, I think, destruction and conjuration as main skills. That's 284 bucks. Oh, good. I think I can do that one. Pound dagger, no. I think I'll just take that. Thank you for your... You're welcome, Edgar. Alan Poe. Take care. And this is just clothing. Mystic Emporium. I'll go in here. This, I, this guy's better have some fucking armor or something for me. I adjust myself in this chair. The squeakiest chair in my house. Alright, there we go. Herbal Grow Oracle knows you need axes and blunt weapons. Big ones. So he makes them and sells them here. Thanks. But, uh... I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. You got nothing I want. Oh, it makes light armor and heavy armor are my Leave me alone. forte, so I guess I could go with that, but I don't know if I want to do light heavy armor. But maybe I should. Maybe I can do a mix of both. Make it I'll do a, I'll do a mix of both. Maybe armor, this is a dumb weapons. idea, but I think at least I have it all. Both. How may I help you? Does he have um? Oh, it's like this leather shit too. Well, I'm sure there's someone else in here. I'm pretty Enough sure talk. that has good stuff. Oh, well, stop being a dick to me when I'm like looking around. The best defense. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Farewell. I'm Bernardo. I handle the heavy armor. Okay, give me some armor. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Give me that. That works. Give me some steel gears and some steel boots. Tell your friends about I maybe might, maybe might not. Okay. So don't like judge me if I don't. I'm gonna be like, okay, leather pants on, cool. Kind of looks cool. Nah, I look cooler than I did, I guess. Be seeing you. What? What? Let's do business. Let's do business. How much, what shields you got, Bernardo? All right. I guess I'll take it. A bargain at any price. You can buy my old piece of shit, though. You seven have a heart. Thank I you. Seven gold. You're having a bitch ass payment about that. Good day. You get to sell your shield and replace it instantly. I say good day. But I'll what sell you, you these leathers though, real quick. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? No, but you can interest yourself in my fine wares. Another fineware. satisfied customer. There we go. All right, so now okay. I feel like I'm slightly better equipped for the uh, shit that I'm dealing with, and now we can go out and find ourselves a better weapon. Uh, that was a weird noise. Interesting. Corrupt Imperial Watchman. That reminds me of something that may be Thieves Guildish. Welcome to a fight. I just talked to you, lady. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? There you bought go. that for a song. Yeah, I know. I appreciate it. Gilded. Goodbye. Tongued man. Boom. There we go. We got some good shit now. Now we can do a little bit of damage. I don't like the look of you. Keep moving. Well met. There we go. Who will help an old beggar? I will help an old beggar. Please be generous, kind. Thank you. Thank. 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 
Thank you. I understand the fighter's guilt. You mean the holy hermit of Am- I'm listening. We understand each other. Well, isn't that sweet of you? Every little bit helps. I understand. You mean the holy hermit? Man, lady, you ain't gonna give me no thieves guild information. Lessons of our new. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're still good on money. You better accept and enjoy that money I just gave you. Now, I did not notice this until right now, which is pretty fucking cool, but. That is the Skyrim dragon on the cover of Skyrim right there on that door. I did not realize that ever. That is super cool. Now, it, it's cool going back to this because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to see more things like that that are that even more solidify, like, the world that you're in when you're in uh, Tamriel. Which I'm pretty sure this is the name of the world in this. But uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, but no, it's, it's really cool that they, that I, like, I'm seeing this shit, and Skyrim wasn't even a, a wet dream at that point, so. I think that, uh, they definitely have done a good job at, like, establishing some type of, like, semi-believable world, you know? It'd be really cool when they come out with their new game, whatever the new game's gonna be, and wherever it's located, if it's not, like, an MMO, but it's, like, a good version, like, a better version of, like, one of these kind, where it's a, you know, single player, but maybe you can have a multiplayer mode where you can have three or four other party members, so it's, like, a... It's not... I don't know. Here's the one thing that I don't like about MMOs. Like, I, I play World of Warcraft sometimes with my mom, and, uh, I got a, war, a Warlock in it, and... And the, the main, the first thing I don't like is I don't like the idea of being like every quest being some weird type of grind or some message that you gotta deliver. And also every quest being available for every person. So like seven people are returning the same quest at the same time. And I think that kind of breaks my immersion a lot. And then also I don't like the idea that everybody that is running around in the world outside of NPCs is also like a hero. It kind of takes away, like, that whole, like... Now, I understand it's like, hey, you know, all the heroes need to band together to fight this whatever, you know, or this lich, or whatever the hell they got going on in World of Warcraft right now. I don't play it that much. Um, but... I like the idea, like, if I were to play a game like this, or if I was playing a game like Diablo. And in Diablo, it's like the entire fate of the world of heaven and of hell all rests in my hands. And it kind of puts a little bit more weight on the role that you're playing... And it, it, I don't know, I, it, it gives you that more valuable look. Or if even if you're playing like the side or the, the person next to someone who's very important or something like that. Which I'm pretty sure this story is about. You're not even the main, main guy. But you play a lot of main parts in it. But, um, like, I don't, I don't like the idea that everybody out there in the whole world is also like, Hey, if you need to go to the lady and give her the jewel, just go to this lady and talk to her and kill seven boars. Which I know those are like more beginner style quests, but I'm a level 50 right now in World of Warcraft with my character. Like I said, this is the first time I played that game also in a very long time. Oh shit. And, uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's cheap. Like, it looks awesome. The game is great. And maybe not awesome. I mean, it looks like a MMO, but... In terms of being, like, it's a pretty expansive world. And the area locations that you travel are, like, definitely, um... They're vast, you know? It's, it takes me a while to run across certain spots, but at the same point, I'll, everybody I see anybody, I'm like, Oh, another incredibly powerful hero. Oh, god damn it, man. If the wolf was just sitting there sniffing my butt now. Damn it. I gotta fucking... That's annoying. But anyways, um, I don't like the idea of everybody in the world saving the world or whatever. Like, I like the idea of there being a handful of, like, very important people, or heroes, or whatever you want to call them. Well, at least I don't have to lose, like, 40 bucks to this beggar lady right here. But I like that. I like the idea of having this. It's, it's a little bit more personal, and it gets you a little bit more involved. And I also think, like, it would be super cool to, like, play a game where you have, like, three or four of your buds all playing the game. And all of you are tied to the, like, fate of the world, and it's all on you. And even if a million people have played the game, which in, ten, in, in cases like this, Oblivion, millions of people have played it. But it, even in that case, you still have your own unique experience 
and it's still your Cyrodiil. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. I just get really burnt out on MMOs a lot. Um, but again, it's a cool way to like hang out with my mom or not hang out with her, but uh, you know, keep in contact and t talk to my mom and stuff outside of just like seeing my mom. And, and obviously with coronavirus going around, you can't really go out and be like hanging around with people every day like you used to. Which I, I don't think I was also hanging around with my mom every day. But I definitely saw her more than I am now. So that's a cool way to keep uh, people together. You know, you can make new friends and all that kind of fun shit. Whatever. My point isn't about making friends or hanging out or talking to my mom. And playing video games with her. It's more of a... I'm playing a game to get immersed in the game, you know. So that's the one, like, downfall I don't like about um, Oblivion. And even about... Like, the Elder Scrolls Online, which I haven't played that intense, intensely in. Um, man, how did I get my way all the way back here, dude? Holy shit, I'm just rambling and not doing shit. Um, no, but in terms of being, like... That's what I was doing. Why did I go all the way over here? What am I doing, man? I gotta fucking break my own rule I just made earlier in fast travel. And I don't fucking my fast travel. But yeah, I, I like the idea of it being, like, in my hands, and my actions are a little bit more, like, weighty in terms of something instead of being, like, everybody's doing the same quest, and, oh, just do this, this, and that, and then you can do this, or whatever, or, I don't know. So, that's one of the things I like about Diablo a lot. And if I was gonna get real about it, to be specific, uh, I mean, like, Diablo 2, because they really put that game together well, and I, I gave Diablo 3 literally, like, I played it right when it first came out, and I beat it, and I pretty much never wanted to play it again. And it wasn't that the game sucked, and it wasn't that it wasn't fun when I played it, but it wasn't something that I could just sit there and be like, oh cool, now the next step is for me to get harder enemies, and basically play the exact same game again, but just in a slightly harder difficulty, or a, a moderately harder difficulty, and it's like, um... It doesn't. It didn't have that same vibe that I got from Diablo 2, which I really love Diablo 2, and I'm pretty sure that there's a good percentage of people who, have, if they play Diablo 2 or at least invested, a, at least beat it or played some time in that game as a kid, that they understand exactly where I'm coming from when I say that Diablo 3 does not encapsulate that classic. Uh, yes, I got level up. Doesn't encapsulate that uh, classic like Diablo feel. It does have a Diablo feel, again. For any of you who are willing to debate about this, it does hold a Diablo feel, but I feel like there was more um, weight at that time on them making it look sweet and making you strong as fuck and getting the best items and this cool shit. And I kind of like the idea of not everything that's dropped on the ground as being like some magical thing that's always better. Like, that's one thing that I really loved about Diablo 1 that even Diablo 2 didn't implement is that in Diablo 1, you got magic items and then you'd identify it and it'd be something that actually hurt you. It wasn't even good at all. So it's like there were things that had negative attributes on them or attributes or whatever the fuck, however you pronounce that word. I think it's attributes, but attributes, whatever. But um, they, they had stuff that would... Uh, minimize, or not minimize them, but they would lower them. So it's, I thought that was cool, because I feel like if you were in, like, some magical world, there wouldn't be every single item that you pick up is going to be a magic item. And I also don't feel that I'm going to be single-handedly swiping through hordes of armies in one swipe. Like, that also made it very, like, unbelievable to me. And in Diablo 2, I feel like they, they, uh... Speed. They worked with that. You still killed hordes and stuff in Diablo 2, but for whatever reason, I feel like it felt more believable than in Diablo 3. And again, like I said, disagree, agree, leave an opinion on that shit for me, because I'd love to hear someone else's opinion about it. Or see if anybody else shares that same kind of view. So yeah. If I were to pick a Diablo game, I'd pick Diablo 2. And if I were to pick a Elder Scrolls game, I would probably pick Oblivion. Even though I love Morrowind and spent a shit ton of time on Morrowind, I still feel like I spent a lot more time in Oblivion, and I feel like this game... And, and the mechanics, again, like, I just started reading about how they're faulty, and it makes sense, because when I was younger, I'd always have to, like, lower these difficulty levels when I got further in-game. And, uh... Alright, so we're looking... We, I, I gotta follow him, so we're getting close to nighttime, I think. Yes, so I'm gonna wait for him to leave his shop.
But yeah, um, I think it's still open right now. Gee, uh, let's wait one hour. But yeah, um, I don't know, I'm just a really huge fan of fucking... Please don't take me to jail. I am a huge fan you? of... Immersion. Speak. I've been rambling on that for a long time, so... Where is that motherfucker, dude? There he is. You're off duty now. Another day, another symptom. Pretty sure that was him. How are you today? There he is. So I wasn't following him, I was following someone else, but I now know where he is. What's this about? Is there a tougher person to get a deal from than Paula Neerian? She's the best in the city, and she'll teach others. It'll cost you, though. Good evening. Safe travels. Be seen. Greetings to you. Is there anyone in the city who knows more about heavy armor than Bernardo? He's as good as you'll find in the city when it comes to heavy armor. That's my guy. Being all sneaky. Well, also not being sneaky because everybody clearly can obviously tell that I'm standing here. Man, my nose is so stuffed up, it's insane. I can't even breathe through it. Very disappointing day in terms of nose quality. Come on, man. Just do something here. I know you're gonna rob graves or whatever the fuck you're doing. Just do it so I can see it. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I'm not watching. Uh, hope she doesn't have Time to get him. Alright, where's he at? Ah, I hadn't heard this part. Oh, town, I see. You sneaky, sly bastard, you. You sneaky, sly bastard. district he goes to. I just know, I think it's, he goes and like talks to some guy at a, uh, like a sewer or um, something like that. So I'm not sure exactly what he does. But we're gonna follow him at least today and then uh, see what happens first. Very easy to get distracted in the way this game looks. Like, I don't even care how old it is, dude. It looks so good. Still, it looks really good. Like, this is not bad at all. And I've played newer games that look crappier than this, so... That's, uh, that's a lot to be said. What is he doing in here? Interesting. I don't remember this. I do not remember this. Uh, sit over here and get the fuck away from him. Uh... What are these people doing? Uh... What was the point of even coming in here? Were you praying? Were they praying? Why am I so slow? Oh yeah. There he is and he needs to go out and I think he's just gonna stand here until I want to kill myself. So do something bro. Wow. Let's wait. Let's see what happens here for an hour. Wait one hour and see if anything changes. Okay. Everything changed. And it looks as though he is not in here anymore. I 
I wonder if it's that guy in the green shirt. I feel like that might be him. Or be the guy who deals with him or something. But we're about to find out. I can't remember if it's in this district that he goes and does like the funeral. Or not the funeral stuff, but the uh, like talks to the dude. Or if it's in like a different district. I'm pretty sure I'm in the Elven right now. I think. Elf, no, Temple District. Okay. Come on, man. Just go where you're going. You're not obviously aware of me. Or you are, and you're playing it very cool. And you're actually leading me to, like, my own death. And I, I don't think they have that programmed in this game, so I don't think it will happen. Man, I love coffee. It tastes so tasty. What a good cup of coffee. I feel like Cooper off of Twin Peaks. I always call it Twin Elms, which I'm pretty sure is a place in Pillars of Eternity. Come on, man! Let's go! You're so slow! I'm gonna be following this guy for an hour walking around. Let's go, let's get this shit going, bro. Look, you don't see me. How could you? You're so oblivious. In oblivion. My. God. Remember, trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a serious crime. Do not venture beyond. I get it, dude. I, I'm walking away from you while you're talking to me, just like anybody would do for a cop right now. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. Amen. Shitty fucking rainstorm. And he's just walking. Uh, this guy's almost as crazy as that Glorthier guy. Come on. What location is this? Market district. He's going back here now. Of course. Uh, actually, you know, is there like. There might be some type of the little middle building area that he goes to in here. Or again, he's just aware of being being a dick. Uh, interesting. Good evening. Oh, uh, you didn't see me. I'm not here. Larthir doing? No, it's like Larthir. Thornier doing some shady shit. That you, Agamir? Shh, not so loud. How many times He's have obviously, I he knows the guy. He's standing directly Sorry. in front of him. It's not even dark. I'm not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Gen scene and tell her about your little scheme. This guy's going to get his ass stabbed someday. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the item. Maybe he'll be my first we'll kill for the blood or brotherhood. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. Hey, what's up, Why bud? Why are you following me? I needed some cash, so I went to see Jen C. Ah. Please. I'm very good. Yeah. Who the fuck are you, bro? Inventory. I am a simple trapper. 
My inventory just consists of pelts and skins. I would hardly call that inventory. Now get out of my way. You're an asshole. You're an ass, bro. You're a freaking ass. That's a fucking... I don't even think I can fit in that. Oh, I guess I could. All right, well, I'm telling. I'm telling. Hello again. I'm telling on you. I'll just wait in front of her door. Hi there. Pretty sure she's right here. Slash, gilded, best defense. Nope. I'm gonna it over here. Hold on. How? How? That's where I want. Alright, let's wait till about 9.13. Actually, exactly 9.13. Sweet. Hello, weird looking lady with jowls. Any news about that certain task we discussed? Yes, my lovely jowled friend. His inventory must be stolen. It has to be. He prices less than it costs to make some of those things. Go see for yourself. Are you gonna give me money, or what? Good. You have found his source. Now you must find where his source gets the materials if we are able to truly bring this crime to justice. And we are. Be careful. There's no telling what this Agarmer is up to. Yeah, that's true. Well, Thanks see again for your. Might as well camp out for a minute. All right, so uh, an exciting day. What do you and want? And cereal, or hour at least. I do have a bed available for. Yeah, I'll take the damn bed. Very. You, you tell me this every time I come in here three times a day. Now let's see if we can find the door to the right, the first door. Boom, there we go, in my room. There, there's my bed! There's my bed! Alright, everybody. It's been a pleasure adventuring with you all. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And leave a comment on the bottom, uh, or down below. Oh, shit, I gotta level up first. Five, five, five. Uh. Yes, I'll take that. Sweet. <gasps> and I'll freeze now, too. Oh, there we go. Level two. Boom. Take a plop on this weird dark corner here. No, I like the table better. Let's, top, let's plop here and look like we're going to eat when I uh, log out. But yeah, if you guys like what you see, leave some comments. Give me a like. Subscribe. And if you guys have any other games that you guys are interested in watching me play, please leave that in the comments below as well. And until next time... I bid you adieu after I save my stuff. Now, until next time, I bid you adieu.